This LeGarrette Blunt here, man, three-time Super Bowl champion. I just want to give you a shout-out to the YouTube channel, Micro Mike, man. Hey, Eddie Murray, former Detroit Lion. Make sure you watch Micro Mike on YouTube. Calvin Johnson Jr. here, uh, a.k.a. Megatron. Big shout-out to Micro Mike and YouTube channel, man. Keep on talking to everything Detroit Lions, and I just got to remind you, man, happy wife, happy life. What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Mr. Mike or Mike and today we're going to talk about grades for our Detroit Lions versus the Arizona Cardinals. The Lions finally got their first win week three of the regular season 26 to 23 over Arizona at Arizona. Let's just jump straight into the grades and we're going to start with Matthew Stafford. He was 22 for 31, 270 yards two touchdowns and zero picks yes zero picks for matthew stafford my grade for him is a b plus it could have been better but he did overthrow a couple times with that said he was clutch when you needed to be throwing a big time play to marvin jones jr to continue to drive on the final drive that resulted in matt prater winning the game winning field goal what a clutch drive that was the help of Matthew Stafford did that, so B+. Plus. What grade do you give Matthew Stafford? Place it in the comment section. I am curious. Let me know what you give Matthew Stafford. Let's jump to the Lions running game with Adrian Peterson. 22 carries for 75 yards, only 3.3 yards a carry. With that said, Adrian Peterson was running the football very hard against a very good front seven. I'm giving him a grade of a B. It could have been better. With that said, he did not drop the ball and the Lions continued to run and he kept going forward. It was a very hard team to beat with the front seven they were going against. Massive shout out to Adrian Peterson to consistently get the ball from first to last quarter. Adrian Peterson stuck out for the Lions. Kenny Galladay had six catches, 57 yards, and one touchdown for coming out of nowhere. Being injured the first two games, he showed out today with a massive game for coming back. I'm going to give him a B plus. It would be lower if he didn't start the first game, but he's coming back from injury, and he made an immediate impact for this team. He really showed out, and I must say... I must say congratulations to Kenny Galladay for coming in, helping out. He made some monster catches in the middle. Getting that touchdown sure did not hurt. Kenny Galladay needs to get extended, but huge shout out to him with the B plus grade. Folks, if you've not turned on the notifications for my channel, you're crazy. I will be live streaming the game versus the Saints. Detroit Lions and New Orleans Saints for a big time game. Can they get to two and two? We'll see, but hit that notification bell so you can enjoy the stream with me. TJ Hawkinson, four catches for 53 yards, zero touchdowns. I'm giving him a solid B. He continues to do well. Very good from the tight end position. I'm happy he is in there. I am happy he's getting it done. Solid B, Jesse James with the touchdown two massive plays he did i'm giving him a b plus because he's finally in the game for the first time shout out to detroit lions tight ends and daryl bevel getting them the football like they needed to do which lions player impressed you the most in week three of the game which player is the player you said oh my god put it in the comment section and let me know jeff Okuda, yes, Jeff Okuda, he initially had an up and down game, but he made some big time stops and an interception for the young fellow. He got burnt a little bit, but boy, oh boy, when you needed this man to play, he got in there. I'm giving him a B. It would be higher, but he did get burnt a little bit, but he made an interception and he was all in on stopping that run. Very good work by Jeff Okuda. Shout out to him, to the young fella. We need this young man to continue to grow. And what we've seen versus the Arizona Cardinals game, 
before the game of last is he grew and that is a good thing the lions defensive line wow they have been an f for the past two games but i'm gonna go ahead and give them a b minus why a b minus they actually got pressure a little bit and they stopped the run Penasini made some big time plays actually stopping the run huge shout out to him and the defensive line for finally finally coming through a little bit for detroit on the road shout out to the defensive line they can get better because we still need to get pressure on the quarterback but a b minus to me is a fair grade folks hit that like button smash it because guess what on wednesday i will be doing detroit lions versus new orleans saints game talking about the breakdown analysis and prediction who is going to win in detroit new orleans or the detroit lions make sure you hit that like button and it will help get more people to see it let's go to jamie collins yes the linebacker free agent that we picked up jamie collins had a very good game to me he was one of the better people on defense with an interception his coverage was good he definitely helped out the lions in the middle shout out to jamie collins wow this man got it done a minus good job for coming back the defensive backs as a whole i'm gonna just go ahead and give them a c plus yes a c plus because we did get burnt a little bit but we're talking about a very good wide receiver core of the arizona cardinals and shout out to the defensive as a whole three turnovers three interceptions by the detroit lions defense as a whole i'm gonna give them a b plus yes for getting three turnovers when you get three turnovers folks you win the football game shout out to the detroit lions defense there for getting it done let's talk about head coach matt patricia i'm giving him a b why am i giving him a b because the defense did play better and guess what we continued to run the football through first and fourth quarters it was consistent Detroit Lions it's important to run the football we did that Matt Patricia finally stuck to his guns and it was nice to see plus when you get three turnovers on defense that is a good thing and Stafford did not turn the ball over the plays were nice the play action to Kenny Galladay that was rem removed via holding penalty was a great play as well being aggressive by Darrell Bevel folks if you are ready for the Detroit Lions vs. Saints preview, subscribe to my channel because you will see it on Wednesday at 10.30 in the morning. Live show Thursday on my channel, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Watch party Sunday live, 1 p.m. Make sure you are there. Let me know in the comment section what grades do you give the Detroit Lions. With that said, folks, adios. to the members of ISN.